Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video and welcome to a brand new holiday mini catalog. It's called Handmade for the Holidays and it's the 2015 Stampin' Up! catalog for Christmas and all of our wonderful fall events. And the very first card that I'm going to show you how to create is this. Uh, it uses a stamp set called Dove of Peace. It's found on page 20 and I just absolutely love this catalog. There's a bazillion bundles, but I decided to start with a fairly simple stamp set and a fairly simple card because I just love doves and I truly, truly love Christmas cards that have like a biblical verse on them. And so I want to show you how I created this card. And this is the card. Let me hold it up to the camera so you can see it. And it's really simple. It's going to be great to put in the mail for all of your um, people on your Christmas card list. There's nothing that sticks out of it or is going to boink through the envelope. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to create this card. One of the trends right now for Christmas is using some darker colors in your Christmas cards. I mean, we wouldn't think necessarily of using black with Christmas, but that is a big trend for 2015. And so this card uses some of those trends with the basic black and the early espresso and, um, it looks really neat. And then on the inside, I've stamped the sentiment from this stamp set. Now I'm going to show you. The stamp set looks like this. It's available only in wood mount. And so when I got it, I immediately cut it apart because I like my sentiment to be separate from my stamp. So what I did is I actually left the sticker, um, just put it inside my box so that I can remember what it looked like originally. I cut the rubber between the image and the sentiment, and then I mounted the sentiment on the wood block on one side, and then I flipped the wood block over and mounted the sentiment on the other side. And I wrote sentiment down here, and that helps me remember which way is up, because that way I won't stamp something upside down. And so let's go ahead and get started with this card. The first thing that you're going to need is a piece of early espresso paper. I have it cut at four and one fourth by 11 inches, and then I've scored it at five and a half. And we are just going to fold it in half at the score line, give it a good little press, and we'll just set this aside for a moment because we won't need to have this for a bit. The next thing is for our inside panel, we are going to use a four by five and one fourth inch piece of crumb cake. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this and I'm inking it up with a new Stampin' Up! product. It's our, it's our basic black archival stamp pad. And this also is featured in the holiday mini catalog. And it is going to be great for water coloring or getting a really nice, very black image. So I'm going to stamp this right here. Just want it to be pretty much in the middle, maybe a tad towards the top. And so that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to take my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to do a line right here along the top. And then we're going to just insert that right here into our card panel or into the inside panel of our card. And then we can set that aside again. And then the next thing that we're going to need is another piece of crumb cake paper. This one at four by five and one fourth, the same as the other one. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to stamp our bird. Now when I have a bigger image like this, I like to actually take the stamp pad in one hand, hold the image or the stamp in the other hand, and I just press that like so. And I can check with the light to make sure it's even coverage. And then I'm just going to stamp this pretty much right in the middle of that piece of paper. There we go. The next step is to take our deco label framelits. Oops, let me get this out of the way. Oh, a little, a little piece of paper flew down from my filing cabinet. It says happy, so I guess I guess we are pretty happy today. So here's our deco labels. And we're using the very largest one, which I don't even have on here because I have it in the big shot. And let me grab that for you. So here is what I ran through the big shot machine. I have on the bottom my magnetic plate. And then the next layer is my cut pad. 
Then I put my paper and I used the large deco framelit and I just twisted it around a little bit. That's why I like using a little bit bigger paper than my, than my actual image that I stamped so that I can make this bird fit right where I wanted it. And I did twist it a lot around just a little bit so that the bird looks like he's, he's flying at an even or upward angle. You don't want to make him look like he's diving in the picture. And so, and then I just covered it with the a top plate, ran it through the Big Shot machine, and then you get something like this. And so you can see what that looks like. So let me put all of this away. And now what I'd like to do is share with you how I colored this. So what I used was our Stampin' Up! Aqua Pens. And we have two sizes that come when you purchase the Aqua Painters from Stampin' Up! And the first aqua painter has a blue cap and that has a really large brush. We do not want to use that really large brush because it will be a little bit too big for all the fine detailing. So we are going to use the medium brush. I've already put some water in here. And then the next step is to have a Kleenex handy and I've just folded that up. Then I just have the lid of a tea canister and I put a little bit of Cherry Cobbler reinker on one corner and a little bit of the Garden Green reinker on the other corner. My tip for you today is to always be sure you buy reinkers every time you purchase a Stampin' Pad because that way if the pad is ever discontinued, you'll always have the reinker and be able to reink that up and use it for a long, long time. So I'll just start with the green and what I want to do is just pull in a little color and you'll notice that the pen is very wet. You don't want to have a super wet pen when you start out on your, on your image. So you're just going to come to your Kleenex and you're just going to hold it onto the Kleenex and notice how all of the ink and the water just kind of, um, you know, just poofs out a little bit. Then I can go back and grab a little more of the ink. And now that most of the water is out, I'm just getting a little bit of ink there in the tip. And then I can go in and I can just start coloring this, uh, this image. And you can go for quite a while before you need to either dip it into ink or water or, you know, give the barrel a squeeze to get more water out. And so then it's real easy to just go in and start coloring um, some of the features on this card and you can see that it goes it actually goes fairly quickly once you get started because you don't need to be super particular anytime that you're water coloring it's just um, it's just meant to look a little bit more loose and flowing and so you can see and I'm going to show you how I did some of this uh, some of this fine detail on the wings because Somebody saw my card and thought, oh my goodness, how did you have the patience to do that? Well, <laughs> it really wasn't that hard because all I do is I just take my I just take my watercolor pen and I'm just I'm just going straight down along. And you don't even have to worry about really following in the lines because even if it comes out a little bit, it looks it looks like you did an awesome job, even though you saw how quick that was. Now when it's time to change colors, you're just going to go back to your Kleenex and you're just going to press until you get all of the excess water out. Then I like to give the aqua pen just another quick little squeeze and that forces water into the barrel and then I just make sure that it's all clean before I go to my next color. So now I can go in and pick up a little bit of our cherry cobbler but again I don't want to take this straight brand new onto my image so I'm going to go back to the Kleenex and just hold it here and let some of that excess water flow out. Then I can go back to my ink, just grab a little tiny bit on the end of the brush and I can start working with the red color. And you can see then I don't get this huge glob of water when I start painting. And so there's the tail, we'll do this, this flower down here. And, and it looks pretty bright when you first start with it, but actually as it dries, the color will lighten up a little bit. So, so there we go. So I'll bring this, I'll bring this up to the camera so you can see a little bit about how nice this looks. And are you wondering if this is even me today? Because look at my nails. I know. I painted them a color. And I did it in honor of my daughter, 
who's going away to college in a couple of days. She is moving to Duluth, Minnesota. And in Duluth, Minnesota, um, there's a lot of fog and, and mist. And of course, that's um, coal mining area, or I should say iron ore. So there's a lot of steel and a lot of blue and a lot of boat traffic. Um, it's a port on Lake Superior. And I always think of Duluth as being this color blue. And so I wanted to use this color blue on my nails in honor of Casey moving to Duluth this week. So that's the story behind my nails. Don't worry, I'll be going back to my to my French manicure very soon here. So anyway, lucky for you, you don't have to watch me color this whole thing, even though it goes fairly quickly. I do want to show you, I did color in advance, so this is the one that I got ready for you. So let's go ahead and finish the rest of the card. I'll put my coloring aside. And the next thing that you're going to need is a piece of basic black paper cut at four by five and one fourth. And then we're going to add a strip of this wonderful, um, it's called Fancy Foil Vellum in gold. And you can get the Fancy Foil Vellum from Stampin' Up. We have it in gold and we have it in silver. And I'll just show you, there's heart, there's circles, and there's stripes, and that's the gold one. And then there's also hearts, circles, and stripes in the silver. And so, it's just beautiful, beautiful paper. And I did want to use it on this card because I think the gold foil, well, for one, it's really in right now. And two, I had a lot of it and needed to use some of it up. So I took a strip that is two by five inches. And what I'm going to do is we're going to mount this right here. Now, if you use tape or glue, you'll be able to see that through the vellum. But it doesn't matter because we're going to have an image over the top. So we can be pretty liberal putting our putting our, uh, I'm going to turn it over because I got some tape, some, some snail up here. We can be pretty liberal putting that on in this spot. So I'm just going to center that in here on the bottom, press that down, and you can see how that tape shows through. But like I said, it doesn't matter because we're going to be hiding that. Then the next thing to do is we have some mossy meadow and it is our 5 8 inch striped cotton ribbon in the in colors that, that debuted in 2014. And it is one of my product shares. Here it is in a product share where you get all of the different colors from the 2014-16 in color pack. And I just cut maybe about 6 inches here. And I'm going to wrap that around the top of that vellum. And then I'm going to secure it with some scotch tape. And I'll do that on both sides. And now it's ready for our image. So we are going to take our, our stamped and colored image. And we're just going to set it right here so that it is in the center of that panel. And look how beautiful that is. Now we're going to add some dimensionals to the back. And four dimensionals is generally enough. So you can see that I have those on there. I'm going to flip it over. I've got the front of my card here. And I'm just going to center that in onto this front panel. And our card is complete. So there's the card I just did. Here is the card I did in advance of the video. And I hope you've enjoyed this Stampin' Up! Uh, tutorial using the aqua painters and I truly truly appreciate you stop by stamping to share anytime I'm at www.stampingtoshare.com and I have links there where you can place product orders have a great day bye bye